Hello everybody and welcome to my channel or my IGTV or wherever you are watching this video. Today I am going to show you how to quickly curl your hair with the use of some Design Me hair products which is my favourite line. We retail it at Prim Prim Proper. They are in very fun packaging and they are amazing products. So my hair is definitely more than one day old. Um, hair does gener generally curl best one day old. Uh, mine is probably two, it's a little greasy, so I'm gonna freshen it up with a little dry shampoo. So we've got a little product here. It's called Quickie Me from Design Me. Super cute packaging. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't use it like <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so this product is really unique because it is a mousse and not a spray, funnily enough. <laughs> so you pop a little in your hands and then you run it on through there. <laughs> this is clearly the first time that I'm using this product. <laughs> it has to go in the bloopers. Oh my god, I can't wait for Lindsay to watch that. So it's a dry shampoo foam. So it's different than any other dry shampoo I've used where it is a spray and you just spray it in at the roots. It's a dry shampoo foam. So my hair is very fine. So I can probably get away with breaking it into just two sections. But if you have thicker hair, you're gonna need to break it up into more sections. So I'm just gonna start at my temples, but if you have thick hair, maybe start at the bottom of the ears. I'm just gonna use my fingernails just to section off my hair. Actually, I'm just gonna make it all there. And you can use a, I'm gonna use a clip. A clip or a hair tie. Make sure all of the knots are brushed out. And I'm gonna divide it into two in the back. This is just gonna make it easier for me to, to do it. So I'm gonna divide these sections into two. So if you have a rod, you don't need to do this, but I have a clamp on mine. I'm gonna open up the clamp like this, pop my iron on the top, and I'm gonna wind my hair around the bottom. And your hair can handle a lot of heat, so I'm gonna hold it for like 20, 30 seconds. Um, you will wanna hold it for longer if you're using big chunks of hair. Uh, you're just gonna have to wait basically until you can feel that the heat has traveled all the way through so you can actually touch the hair there. And basically when that hair is hot, it's ready. If you let it go earlier, the curl's just gonna fall out or it's just gonna look like a messy kink. So I'd say that's pretty good. I'm gonna slide my hair out. I like to hold the curl up for a little bit. And then while it's still in its curly position, I'm gonna use Design Me Hold Me. hairspray which is super fun it has three different settings light medium and heavy I'm gonna go with light grab my little curl and just give it a little spray and just leave it in that little ringlet while it dries Alrighty, so this is where you choose where your parting is going to go. And I like to have a deep side part. So I'm just going to split this into two and bring the hair in the front so I can see it. And I'm just going to start from the front here and do the exact same thing. If you want it to be quite curly on the top, you can do smaller sections.
pouring part is over. We just need to check that we've got it all. So because they're all in ringlets, we can just kind of like pop our head back and see if there's anything that we need to recurl. That one is a little bit weird, but let's see how it brushes out. Leave your iron on. And so, the next two products I'm gonna use are the Puff Me Texturizing Spray. So I'm gonna scatter that throughout the ends when I brush it out to keep it nice and nice texture. And then I'm gonna add a little back combing because my hair is always super flat. We're gonna use the Puff Me Light because I have fine hair. hair. Uh, this is a texturizing uh, powder that we're going to put in at the roots. So, first of all, the spray. We should test that it's not a mousse, yeah. which is not. Alright, now we need to add our back combing. So, I'm just going to find my part and brush this hair back. Okay. some powder on the back. Take a texturizing comb and I'm just back combing in another section and do the same thing. Now we're going to take our texturizing brush and just brush it so you're nice and even. And then if there's any little bits that you don't like the look of, you can just go on in and fix that up. So there we have it. That is some ta voluminous tousled curls using Puff Me hair products. One, two, three. <laughs> Four.